well. And then we sat down and, you know, I, I was ordering and there were chicken fingers on the menu and Brussels sprouts and nachos and all this stuff. And we sat down and I had two micheladas and it was like four o'clock. I ate micheladas. I ate chicken fingers. I ate nachos with cheese and sour cream. And there was all this stuff. And I literally felt like I was deep fried. I left. I had the best time with MJ. It was so lovely. Yet it felt like I was actually hanging out with my ex. Because, you know, you guys are following the journey. Like, she and I do a very good job of keeping it 100 as far as where we're at with one another. Um, and so I want to share, like, the good stuff along with the bad stuff. So I literally got the biggest stomach ache, churning and churning. I literally, God knows, I'm so upset that I'm being graphic with you, but I'm laying in bed. I've already worked out. I've already done weights and I'm not going to eat anything today, but I am going to go running. So I did my weights already, but now I'm going to run because if I want to keep this body, I can't be hanging out with MJ and I can't blame MJ. I'm not going to gaslight MJ about me breaking my ketogenic diet. It's not her fault. I put things in my mouth. Usually things are coming out of my mouth that shouldn't be coming out of my mouth. This time I was putting things in my mouth and they were juicy. They were deep fried. They were very delicious. And we sat there and we ate it. And I didn't feel guilty until later on when my stomach said, listen, you former fat 40 said, my stomach sounds like Mike. My stomach actually sounds like Mike. My stomach said to me, listen up, you former fat fuck. You can't be eating that deep fried shit anymore. You're 47. You know, you can't tolerate this deep fried greasy food in your... Literally, my stomach is so hard on me. He talks to me like Mike. So... After a very horrible night's sleep and an upset stomach, I learned my lesson. So next time MJ and I hang out, it's green juices and crudite. And now your boy is going to go on this run and I'm going to try it. Burn some more of those calories because let me tell you, if I don't eat for two weeks, it'll be too soon. Thank you guys for so many things. For A, being such an amazing, I don't even want to call you an audience because you seem like friends. You guys have been with me and with us for so many years. Um, some of y'all may see me out on these streets, you know, dripping, looking mad, sweaty and crazy out there trying to not stop and get it, get it. Because, you know, the the fight is real. You know, I'm looking around and, you know, these Bravo celebrities, like, look at Ebony. She is beautiful, young, highly educated. You know, you got to, you got to, like, I feel like BravoCon is coming. I haven't gotten an invitation yet or anything. But, you know, your boy wants to not be on the sidelines. You know, I'm trying to keep it, like, tight and right for y'all. Because I want to be there if y'all are there. I don't know if I'm going to be there, but I hope I'm there. And I hope if I'm there, I see y'all there. Because I had so much fun at the last one. So to wrap it up, I love you guys. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Mm -hmm. And remember, don't stop and go out and get it, get it. Come visit Great Neck. I'm gonna